All right, cooking with Kelly. What do you want to tell them about the chili? What should they know? Uh, well, nothing. Just it's it speaks for awesome. itself. It's awesome. <laughs> All right, here's that. <laughs> it's good. It's delish. Hi, I'm making my famous chili. I love it for big events. Goes a long ways. Perfect for parties. And it has some secret ingredients that it's not, you know, when you hit the directions from here, I'm going to jazz it up a bit. I have two tablespoons of oil. And I put two onions, one jalapeno, and one bell pepper. And I'm going to let this saute for about four minutes. And then once it wilts down, I'm gonna add some tomato sauce. It takes a while, it's gotta be like almost translucent. So once it looks like it's kind of wilted, a little translucent, I'm gonna add my garlic, about two tablespoons. Do it. Put a can of tomato paste. I'm going to show you the consistency that I want it to be like. It's going to take a while. You can start okay. it. So once it looks like this, you're going to put two tables of beef. Two pounds. Or two pounds. Tablespoons. Say it again. Once it gets like this, then you want to put two table two pounds. Not tablespoons. You know what I mean. Two pounds of beef. <laughs> <laughs> this is the most important step. You're gonna get two cups of beef broth, but you're gonna add it in slowly. Let that cook a little bit longer, maybe two or three more minutes. And then I'm going to add, and slowly add the beef broth. Say pause. Oh, here you go. Here's one cup, but I'm going to go slow. Supposed to feel. This going to be a good Well, at least I can make you laugh. I wish I had that. I have it on camera, but I'm pointing at ground beef right now. So I think I might have it on record. I think we were. Recorded the audio, you can probably hear her. <laughs> that was one of the funniest things I've heard in a long time. Isn't that hilarious? How are you supposed to feel on this? I don't feel anything. I don't feel anything. So now, cooking a little bit. Okay. So now, I'm going to put one tablespoon of Worcestershire sauce. This is the secret ingredient. And then I'm going to put, if you want to cheat, you can do two of these or one, depending how. I want it. What is that? Show the camera when you're done. Cormix. Okay. But I get with just one package. Okay, then we're gonna. That was the one cup I put in. So I'm gonna really let this cook. Add two more, add another cup of bean. Okay. 
speed for us. And then I'll show you what's the next steps. I like a little sugar. It cuts down the acidity. So that was the other cup of beef broth. Can of Rotel. I did, I thought I drained it properly. Drain. This, I love this, the spicy tomato sauce. You can just do regular tomato stuff if you don't like spice, but I this is, I think, my secret weapon. And then, crushed red and crushed pepper, or tomato. Sorry. Let me say it again. Yeah. Crushed tomatoes. So, I'm going to stir this, like this, and I'm going to let it, leave it on low. For two hours. Oh my god! I forgot the I forgot the beans. I forgot the bacon. I forgot the beans. Okay, so uh, there's a can of pimento. I like cannellinis and I like kidney beans. Can't have chili without beans. Can't have chili without beans, my love. What if you would cook the whole thing and then realize you forgot the beans? Then what do you do? Well, the beans are already cooked. They just, this is just warms them so up. So you could stir them in at any point. Really, yeah. But probably better this way, right? I think so because, you know, all the, they cook together. everything, you know, is married together. Yeah, yeah. Okay. Yeah. Cover this for two hours. <coughs> Put it on low. Hi, my name is Miller Sani. This is Jolie Dog. This is Kelly Leventhal. We are here in the Leventhal House kitchen eating some very fine made chili made by yours truly. Well done, Mila. Good job. Very well spoken. <laughs> Thank you. Too hot, Jolie. Go sit down. Here, go sit down and eat it. Wait, show me the finished product. Oh, yeah. Look at that. I like my chili with sour cream. I grate my own cheese. Fritos. That looks like a bad Frito. And onions and cilantro mix. Do you guys get this cornbread? You know, you add water to it. Add this from Trader Joe's, this corn chili to it. Amazing. Amazing. You guys like the cornbread? Try it. This is a great thing to do when you have like a football party. Oh. Or when you have a lot of people over. It goes a long way. Yeah, it does. It lasted for a while. Yeah. And it's good. It's even better the next and day. And then, you the know, I love it with, you know, uh, chopped onions, uh, sliced jalapenos, cheddar cheese, uh, sour cream. It, it's so good when you put all the uh, accoutrements on yeah, there, yeah. you know? 